Hello everyone and welcome to my studio. I am so excited that you are joining me today. I'm going to share with you one of my favorite metalworking techniques. In fact, metal jewelry is really hot. It's very trendy. It's super fashionable. But I bet you didn't know, it's super easy also. So I'm going to show you how to stamp words into metal. This is a great technique. Well, because I love words. I love words because they're inspiring to me. And you can also use this technique to create personalized gifts for your friends and family. Well, who doesn't love a gift that was made just for them? So let's head on over to my workspace and I'll show you how to do it. So here are the supplies that I've gathered that you'll need for this particular project. First of all, over here I have a bench block, and this bench block has kind of a rubber stopper. This is actually really helpful because it helps to absorb some of the shock uh, from when you hit against this with a hammer. I also have right here, these are uh, metal stamps, and these are alphabet stamps. You get these in the local hardware store. There's a couple right here that I've taken out. I have some brass um, findings here and these are pre-cut shapes. You can also cut your own shapes out of brass but these I just happen to purchase this way. I also have a hammer. I have some steel wool and in the center up here I have some rub and buff and this is actually what's going to highlight some of our letters after we stamp them. So the first thing that we're going to do, I'm going to pull my bench block closer to me because I already have a piece uh, on my bench block and I've already stamped actually a couple of the letters in the piece of brass here. But sometimes when you get your brass, it comes and, and it can have some tarnish on it or a little bit of patina. And if you like that, that's perfect and you don't have to do anything. But for this particular um, technique, or really for the sake of demonstrating this to you, just so you can see it a little bit easier, I'm going to shine this up with just a little bit of steel wool. So you just rub the steel wool over the top of it and it gives your metal, whether it's copper or brass, a real nice little kind of a matte brushed sheen. And you can do this technique on brass or on copper, aluminum, whatever you prefer. You'll notice here that I already have a couple of little letters stamped in there and it's very, very easy. It's very similar to if you were rubber stamping and I've started the word love. So I have the L and the O and now we're going to follow that up with the V one thing you want to make sure is that when you're stamping, you're stamping with the letter correctly placed. Make sure that it's uh, right side up. And then you're just going to hit it a couple times with the hammer. And this is going to make a little bit of noise. One thing I want you to remember too is to keep your stamp firm against your bench block so that it doesn't bounce. Because if it bounces as you hammer it, you're going to get multiple stampings and um, it's going to kind of ruin it. So, just like that, there's the V. And here is the E. Okay, so I have love stamped in there. Now I'm going to leave it on my bench block just to show you this next um, little trick here. And I have some rub and buff. You can put this on with your finger or you can have a little towel here because it doesn't take a whole lot. And then you just rub over those letters. Make sure that this um, wax, the rubbing buff is kind of a wax, waxy thing, gets into all the cracks and let that sit there for five to ten seconds. Let it dry just a little bit and then wipe off the excess. You want to make sure that you leave the black into the letters and that'll highlight them and then they'll stay there. So it's a really simple technique again to just personalize um, something for your friends or family or if you want to uh, stamp in some words there's even some textures that are out there there's some patterns like little flowers that you can stamp in and let me give you a, a close-up of what this looks like there you go. so now you can see the word love I have some other examples of jewelry that I've actually used this technique in, so why don't we take a look at that right now. Well, 
Well, who knew you could have this much fun with a hammer and make some great jewelry too? This is a great technique. I know you're going to enjoy it. So I hope you make lots of metal jewelry for yourself, your friends, and your family. And I hope that you keep living the creative life. Thanks for joining me in my studio. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.